After forced cancellation due to the pandemic in 2021, the AHR Expo was in full swing January 31st to February 2nd in Las Vegas. Held at the Las Vegas Convention Center, HVACR professionals of all specialties came together to share ideas and showcase their newest technologies and products. Here's a quick recap of the show. The night before the AHR even began, HVAC industry professionals gathered at Brooklyn Bowl for Emerson's annual pre-expo party. Emerson's Group President of Heating and Air Conditioning, Brent Schroeder, raised a toast to the 100th anniversary of the Copeland brand and noted that several new products would be featured at the expo in the coming days. More than 350 HVAC professionals also attended the Addison pre-expo party at the Rock House. There were similar reunions and receptions held the next two nights, hosted by Armstrong Fluid Technology, Cambridge Air Solutions, RGF, among others. At a press conference on the first day of the expo, on January 31st, a panel of third-party ASHRAE member judges selected the product of the year from this year's 10 AHR Expo Innovation Award winners. The winner for the cooling category, the Dan Foss TurboCore VTCA 400 compressor, won the title of the product of the year. Dan Foss President and CEO Ricardo Schneider said, The new compressor represents a significant evolution in oil-free compressor technology that gives customers not only industry-leading performance, but also the most compact footprint of any low-pressure compressor design. Winners in the AHR Expo Innovation Awards program are selected based on innovative design, creativity, application, value, and market impact. Dan Foss has now been recognized more than 30 times over the 18-year history of the Innovation Awards program, including multiple Product of the Year recognitions, the most recent of which was awarded in 2020. HVACR industry experts gathered to discuss the current state of the industry during the second day of the Expo on February 1st. The panel was moderated by Brian Orr, who led discussions with leaders from ASHRAE, AHRI, Hardy, NAFA, and the NCI. Hardy CEO Talbot G said the supply chain issues will likely not be ending this year. He said it's going to continue to be a tough year, and even if you can build it, can you find a way to ship it? And for distributors, most of them have had to lease, buy, or build more space for more products and contractors have had to be a lot more flexible too. President and CEO of AHRI, Steve Urich, outlined three main challenges for the HVACR industry. Number one is the labor shortage, number two is the refrigerant transition, and number three is electrification. Samsung HVAC America announced that it's working with Honeywell to provide advanced control solutions. The control solutions are expected to launch later this year and will be powered by the Niagara framework with emphasis on design, advanced monitoring points, and service capabilities. Notable features include the ability to wire direct to Samsung equipment without additional adapters and the ability to control and monitor using PC, Mac, Android, or iOS in both standard and mobile web browser configurations. For more information on these stories and many more, you can visit achrnews.com and follow us on social media.